In this problem, we have a decimal greater than 1. And we're being asked to write it as a mixed number. So that's with an integer part and then a fraction. And also as an improper fraction, where it's all just a fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So let's see how this works. You know, as a mixed number, I would take this as two different problems. I would have 6, and I would have the 0.8. In the 0.8, we just need to take the place here. This is one place to the right of the decimal point. So this is tenths. So I'd put it over 10 and put the number on top. So this is 8 tenths. And then I just stick the 6 on there. This is 6 and 8 tenths. So that's your mixed number part. Now, your improper fraction, you could take this mixed number and convert it. The way you do that is you multiply the number by the denominator. So that's multiplication. And then you add it to the top. So 6 times 10 is 60. That would be, and you add it to 8, that would be 68 tenths. And that would be the improper fraction. There's a, another way to think about the improper fraction, though. You could start with the decimal and just use the same procedure you're used to using. That is, find the place of, uh, of the last uh, part of the decimal, which is tenths, put that on the bottom, and then just put the number part on top. Boom, you've got 68 tenths. So that's how to convert a decimal into a mixed number and an improper fraction.